guys, Journey Mike Grab. I'm coming to you from Chicago as usual, and today we're going to look at Sovereign Citizen Traffic Fail number 23. It's good stuff. Let's do it. Well, this is a fun little clip. It's uh, I got it off from a channel called Richard Brandt, who I believe, although I'm not sure, is the person who uh, is driving the car in this circumstance. Uh, there's only one video on that channel. It's this, and it uh, it is definitely um, you know, well. It's titled "Right to Travel," and I actually put the description in in my description, and it's saying that the the police officers didn't do the stop right. So it's it's someone coming at it from that perspective. Oh, that works. Okay, you good? Yeah. You're recording. All right, sir. Okay, sir, so you are giving me issue citation today for driving while suspended and driving on insured. So your court date will be next month. It'll be October 10th, or excuse me, it'll be October 20th, 2016, at 9 o'clock in the morning at the North Bend Courthouse, located up the annex. There's an address on the citation. Okay, right off the bat, you, you know we're, what we're dealing with here, but uh, this is a new take on it for me. He just has this sort of wild... Uh, you know, stare into space thing, and he and he's just not going to acknowledge the officers at all. It's it's really kind of strange. You want to take care of the citation on or before the court date. There's four officers on the back and explains you how to do so. You have any questions about the citation, sir? No, you're just concerned. Okay, so unfortunately, because this vehicle has no insurance on it, it's going to be towed. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, you're not taking my property. <laughs> Well, here we are back at the argument clinic. Contradiction? Look, if I argue with you, I must take up a contrary position. But it isn't just saying, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, I am, no. sir. Your vehicle is going to be towed. No. Nope. So what I need you to do is shut the vehicle off, step out of the vehicle for me. I'm not getting out. Yes, you are, sir. No. I'll pull it up here. And no, park it, you but cannot I'm not drive this vehicle. Out. It has no insurance on it. This vehicle cannot move on a roadway. I'll call and get insurance on nope, right now. No, it doesn't work that way, sir. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Besides that, you're, you're suspended and you me. cannot be driving. How am I harassing you, because sir? Because it is my right to travel. No, it is not your right a license. to travel. I don't do... I, I'm not going to no, argue sir. with you. I'm not going to argue with you either. So it's my what right. you need to do is step out of the vehicle. No. Sir, step out of the vehicle now. No. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle now. What? Because if you do not do so, you're going to be placed under arrest. Place me under arrest, you'll be kidnapping me. No, big dummy, it'd be a lawful arrest, not kidnapping. Uh, you're in violation of the law, and you won't comply. No, I will not. I'm be. aware of my rights. You Are can't you? harass me okay. like this. I'm not harassing you. You would be in a citation. You want to take your me to jail? You're, no, I do not you're want to take you to jail. You're not even supposed to have your lights on right now. Yes, I am. No. I'm conducting it's a not an emergency. Yes, no, it's not an emergency. and it's. Well, here's some of the fun stupid they like to engage in. I've seen this before. Uh, I, I can't remember where. I, I've heard the same exact argument. Um, they're, they're saying that the police officer can't have their Mars lights on. Um, I, I doubt that's the case. Uh, that, that seems to be standard operating procedure uh, at a stop. Uh, in my life experience, um, but let's say let's say for the sake of this discussion, there's some code provision they're not supposed to have their lights on. Well, that's a separate issue. You're sp you're supposed to have insurance. You're supposed to be licensed. You're supposed to comply. So you know whether or not the the police officer is in violation of something is is irrelevant to your situation. A felony on your part? No, it isn't, sir. Yes, it, it is. And sir. that right there shows me that you do not know your rights because it's yes. not a felony. Yes, it is. Sir, step out of the vehicle. You're completely out of line. No, I'm not. This is my property, and now you're stepping you're blocking an address. Therefore, you cannot be parked here. I will pull up. You forward. cannot pull up because you have no license. Yes, you I cannot can. be driven on a roadway because you have no insurance. Yes, I can. If you can. Okay, I agree with him here. He can pull up. The problem is he may not pull up. I, I think he has the ability to pull up, but uh, it's not lawful, and he's doing it in front of a police officer. I can't believe I just said lawful. It's not legal or lawful. <laughs> If you need to fight with me, sir, which I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. I do not want to place you under arrest. You but can't you can place do... me under arrest. Yes, you I don't can. have a warrant for my arrest. You're interfering with my job, I sir. was not committing a crime. You are right now by not obeying my commands. What, you want to arrest me? No, I want you to step out of the vehicle because it's going to be towed. No, you can't tow my vehicle. This yes, is my I can. property. No, I can't. I paid cash for this. this That's is fine, my... but you cannot do that. <laughs> That's really cute. The, uh, you think your method of payment for uh, procuring the vehicle is relevant here. That, that's good. You can't tell it. Yes, I can, sir. Step out of the vehicle. No. Yes. I will get somebody here to drive it. No, you will not. It's yes. being taken. 
It's being towed. You can't tow my vehicle. Yes, I can. No. I just told you that I am, and I'm going to. Step out of the vehicle. Why? Because it's going to be towed, and they're not going to tow with you in it. They'll have to. No, they will not. It, this is my property. I can stay here as long as I need to. No. Wow. What what a clueless uh, jack wagon we're dealing with here. It's his property, so he can stay there as long as he wants. Well, your property's on somebody else's property. In this case, I think it's public road. But uh, you can't just place your property on somebody else's property and stay there indefinitely. I, you know, if, if that's the case, I could park my car in your living room and just, you know, stay there until I felt like moving. Obviously, that's not the case. Yes, I can. No, sir. Step out of the vehicle. I can stay here in my vehicle. I will gra let you grab your this is personal my belongings. Property. I have no problem with you doing that, but the vehicle is going to be taken. This is my property, and you can't take my property. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay, you I have, told you. You have no right to pull me over. Yes, I do. I wasn't committing any crimes. I didn't say you are committing a crime. I said you are committing a then, violation. Then why are you doing this? Because you committed multiple violations. Multiple. One, you failed to signal your lane. Failed to signal 100 feet prior to your turn and two, you're driving while you're suspended. No, you're harassing. And you have no insurance on this vehicle. You're harassing. No, sir, I don't. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Grab your things, sir, because as soon as the tow comes here, they're going to be taking the vehicle. They can't take my truck. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Wow, if this is really this guy, I'm shocked he posted this because it's so embarrassing. This is his just straight up childish temper tantrum, about a three or four year old uh, level. And it's just deny reality, delusional, and stomp your foot. That's it. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you anymore, sir. So I'm going to let you Are you placing me under arrest? No, I'm going to let you grab your things. Then. Once you grab your things, you can get out of the vehicle. You can't. And you'll be on no. your way. Here's your citation. I'll take that. Okay, great. But you're not taking my truck. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Okay, well, we will see about that, sir. Go ahead and grab your belongings, sir. You can't take it. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait for the tow to get here, and then it will be taken, yes. Yeah, and I'll go with it. No, I don't think that they do that. Uh, when I'm sitting in here, yeah. No, They you can't take my property. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. I don't have to. I don't have to do this. No. You do, sir. It's no. I don't. This is. I'm not driving for my job. I'm not for hire. It's my God-given right to travel. No, it it's in the Fourth Amendment. No. Study your amendments. Yes, okay. you're yes. stepping out of a line. Okay. This is my right. All right. Well, it's, you're not for It's my leave. right to travel. Well, our traveler here has presented a lot of arguments in favor of his position, and I thought it be it would be helpful if we went back to one of my old features, which is the sovereign citizen estimated argument, and I could kind of summarize it all for you, you know, to 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 make it a little easier to absorb. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. I'm a big blubbering baby and I need to change my stink pants. Period. You cannot drive this vehicle because you don't have a license and you do not have any insurance. No. That's true. It's my right to travel. I don't need insurance. I can yes, travel on the public highways. It's a privilege to drive, sir. No, it is right. not a privilege. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Do you have any other belongings that you need to take with you, sir? Yeah, all the tools in the back. Okay. Well, you want to call somebody so you can get somebody down here to pick those up for you? That way you're not just sitting on the side of the road with them? You're not taking my truck. Okay, we're past that, sir. Yes, I no, am. No, you're not. So I'm trying to no. provide some options for you to try to work with you a little bit. Other than that, if you don't, then they're just going to go with the tow. I don't care. I'm trying to help you out by letting you make arrangements to get your your things out of your vehicle you can't take my truck yes we can no you can't okay well 
Like I said, sir. You'd be stealing my property. You want to steal my property? I'll take you to court. Okay, you can take me to court. That's what there's a court date on that yeah. on there for you. Oh, please do. Take him to court. And this video can be exhibit A, and you will lose. I've already beat one of these. You want me to beat this one too? It's your it's your right to take me Whatever. to court, sir. I'm yeah. okay with that. It's my right to travel. Okay, it's not. And I'm sticking to it. Yes, okay. it is. Okay, Big Talker, if you beat this before, let's see the order. I want to see it. I do not believe you. I officially am skeptical. I'm as skeptical as Frankie. I, I don't think you did it. And if you did do it, I want to see it. And I see that that's the only video on your channel. So if you are looking for an opportunity, I am more than willing to put it on this channel. It is possible that um, someone didn't have a witness or something and you got one dismissed. I want to see it. Oh, looky there, it's a big tow truck. I don't even have anybody to call. Okay. Do you just not have any numbers or do you just not have anyone, period? Nobody lives in Bandon. Well, they can come from another place. They don't have to stay in Bandon. So how's that sob sit lifestyle working out for you? Besides, it's my right to be anywhere I need to be. If I need to spend the night here until somebody comes and gets me, then I can. Yeah, you can do that. I don't care. This uh, brings up something that always comes up in the comments, and uh, it, it's it's really poignant in this particular circumstance. He's stuck someplace. Uh, he doesn't have anybody around if he is to be believed, and I think he's probably telling the truth with respect to that. So he, he goes to another town with a vehicle that he knows isn't registered, and he's not licensed, and it's not insured, and he knows that he can run into this problem. Why would you do that? And how did he get a car in the first place if he did that? So I, I you never know. But uh, you know, if you have any theory on this, put it in the in the comments below. My my guess is he went about his life in a normal way, got his license popped for a DUI or something like that. I'm not accusing him of that. I'm just using a random example. And uh, and then he found the soft sit lifestyle because that because it told him what he wanted to hear. Right, Miss Brand, do you want to grab anything? Your cell phone? You have anything in there that you can? I'm not getting carry? out. Yes, you are. Sir. No, I'm not. Sir, step out of the vehicle now. No. Step out of no. the vehicle. Hey. Step out of the vehicle. You can't sir, take step me out, out of, of the vehicle now. Why are you step pulling? Step out of the vehicle now. You can't pull on me. Yes, I can. Don't, no. sir. No. Step out of the vehicle now. No. Yes. You can't do this, sir. Get out of this vehicle now. No. Get out of this vehicle. Quit pulling on me. Then get out on your own approach. You're or being your court. filmed. I don't care, sir. So are you. I didn't get do out of wrong. the vehicle now. You guys are being right. violent. You okay. want to be violent? You're under arrest, sir, for interfering. Get you out can't of the arrest now. me. Yes, I can. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back now. Turn around. Don't arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands together. You don't have no right to arrest me. Yes, sir, I do. No, you don't. You're in my investigation. I told you multiple times to get out of the vehicle. You would not do so. Give me my phone.
Well, <clears throat> there you have it. Another sub sit, another horrible result. And it uh, brings up another question that I always get in the comments, uh, which is, uh, what came first? Did, did the uh, Subset uh, philosophy destroy his life, or did things go south and then he grasped at, the, at this philosophy like a uh, grasp at it like straws to, to, to try to help him after the fact? I'm, I'm guessing it's the second. I, I'm guessing something went wrong. There's, he has a strange effect. He, do, he doesn't seem completely right, and. Um, I don't know if he's uh, altered or if he's just not in a good place. He's obviously not happy, but he's just a strange interaction with the officers. I, I get that it's that there's tension between them, but the, this childish refusing to look at him and and just denial of reality is, is really quite strange. Here at Law Talk, we do a lot of videos answering common legal questions. We also do reviews of law in the movies and then on TV. We also share some of our more interesting cases. We're always putting out new videos. So if you like that, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell.